So today we're going to discuss about wipe coding. Uh, if you're on internet, if you're on Twitter, if you're on YouTube, you probably have seen this term like wipe coding and I think it's kind of an old news now. Vibe coding. Vibe coding. Vibe coding. The vibe coding in mind virus. I mean, the speed of AI is crazy. Uh, and I'll be, I'll be very honest with you. I'm not black pilled on AI. I mean, I'm not rejecting its presence and I'm not saying it's all doom and gloom. I mean, AI is a tool. I'm, I'm using it as a tool. That's it. I'm not thinking five or 10 years ahead now. I'm not thinking. And I'm not even thinking like too short term, but AI is here and vibe coding is here. A lot of people are going to use it. So I thought, why don't I make a video on that? I'll, I'll share some tips and tricks. If you want to do wipe coding, I'll share my thoughts, uh, what you should, what you shouldn't do. And I think that will help a lot of people. If you are a product guy, if you want to build something, right? And you are in kind of hurry, then I would, I would say, maybe take this lesson seriously because what happened to Leo? You probably have his story. I mean, guys, I'm under attack ever since I started to share how I build my SaaS using cursor. So he started building cursor, uh, building SaaS using cursor. And then like people like DDoSing him and doing all kinds of things. Because see, if you just wipe coding, you're not testing your application you knew, and you're not making sure about the architecture decisions you're making, security decisions you are making, then sooner or later you will be in trouble. I mean, the apps which has like very high level of security, teams working on those apps, even those apps got targeted by malicious people, right? Malicious actors. No one is safe, but especially if you're just doing wipe coding, you will be in a lot of trouble pretty soon because people are trying to find vulnerabilities on those apps. And if you have built everything with wipe coding, then you won't be able to survive. So that's the harsh truth. So what do you can do? So how can you save yourself? Uh, I can share some tips. Even I just started to scratch the surface of uh, like tools, AI, especially like tool called cursor, right? So this is a paid version of cursor. Like I'm paying 20 bucks or something and uh, it's writing code for me, which is pretty cool. Um, I can share some tips, what you can do. So if you go to cursor setting, so if you go to here, go to settings and go to cursor setting, this page will open and there are different like generally you can see your accounts and everything which is fine uh, even i'm like researching and doing a lot of uh things what you can do with cursor there's mcp few videos about mcp so i'm not too sure uh it's about like it's about agents like doing work on the background but uh, I'll, I'll do more study do more research and then we can talk about but uh, if you go to rules in cursor uh, see you can add some rules that can save you some pain in the future because see uh, you can copy that I'll, I'll add this probably in a notion file so you guys can copy it or you can use ai to generate this uh, so you can use ai to save yourself right so ai is a tool so you can use it uh, in a way that uh, you build your app thinking about security first so i have added some rules here like some es formatting rule uh, some javascript typescript rules Make sure like no implicit any, like enforce strict typing in TypeScript so that whatever code is giving me, I don't want to see any any, right? I mean, we can do that with the AI, right? And with our own code, I use a lot of any. Uh, yeah, use, I don't want to use var. I, I'm, I, I only want to use constant let, uh, prefer arrow function. So all these things like you can add, and this is the most important section, like uh, security and best practices, right? So I added a bunch of security rules here so that when uh, cursor is going to give me code, it will, like it will first go through this page and then based on this settings it will only give me code uh, based on that so this is the first rule the second is what you can do let's say you are white coder right and you don't know much about coding let's say you're building a uh, typing speed app right uh, so how, how can you use ai first of all you would rather than like giving instruction to cursor you can either use cur cursor's chat, which is perfectly fine. You can use it. I personally like to do that on chat GPT because it has memory, right? I think cursor has memory too, but this is like, I can, I can use through my phone. Like whenever, like I'm sitting like at home, right? I can, I can ask chat GPT. What do you think about this idea, that idea? So I do a lot of brainstorming uh, with AI nowadays, a uh, lot more than any person in my life. So. AI is my best buddy now, you can say that. So let's say you're building an app called 
typing speed right can you create an app so i have this prompt so can you create an app to check how fast a person can type i want to make it paid so suggest me some paid features don't give me any code give me like core architecture give me suggestions on security and which database to use so if you if you want to do wipe coding right you don't know much about coding maybe basics of that maybe this is probably your first this should be your first app so see here it it, it did this memory update right and from my phone i can i can go to chat gpt and talk more about this you can certainly do that with cursor uh i'm but i don't have access of course on my phone so see so it gave us some so see it gave us some architecture uh like we can build next uh, we can build our front end with next js back end we can have either dedicated server or api routes postgres we can use superbase or prisma like it gives all kind of even hosting core feature what can be your pro features paid features so before you like give cursor like code or build me this app that that's wrong i mean you shouldn't do that because if you want to make a product right if you're a product person even though you're doing white coding you should think like a software engineer so take software engineer hat i mean take out the product hat and take the software engineering hat and build your project build your saas from ground up and this is just the one way you need to do a lot of maybe you need to do a lot of google searching as well because you need to because see ai gives you all the filtered answers right which is fine but sometimes you need people's reaction you need people's opinion so you can use twitter or you can use reddit or you can use people's blog so i would suggest doing that so that that was like step number 2 or like things you should do if before doing any white coding and the next thing you can do is you can follow some people on instagram or on youtube so you can follow this guy web dev cody like i've been following him for many years now and he probably has one of the best takes so if you are a white coder you should find people who can give you some kind of tips right just like i'm giving so if you go to his youtube page like you'll see a lot of uh like why maxing is our future like my honest thoughts on using ai to code white coding actually sucks so he has a lot of opinion so before dive deep in coding try to get some knowledge try to get some experience you can get some experience from other people's experience right you don't have to do it on your own and this strictly if you want to do white coding i'm not full in the favor of white coding because see the stuff happen with our leo guy it can happen with anyone so it can happen if you are if you are careless right so i would suggest try to at least do the basics of coding try to do at least basics of chaos let's say you're building a web app right uh spend two or three months you can use ai to learn to teach yourself right and then go and build products or you can take someone's help right people who have good knowledge of tech so you can ask them questions you can ask ai yeah but if you have a in person if you have a person you can reach out to please do that i think this will certainly help so yeah don't do anything stupid with uh with ai i mean that can cost you actual money uh yeah and especially if you're storing people's data then that can cause another kind of troubles and my best advice is to just uh learn first before you try to build anything and that's it from today's video i'll see you next time with new video thanks a lot for watching